Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to User1 Productions, my name is David, and in today's quick Unity tutorial we're going to be looking at a health bar that can go down or go up depending if we're taking damage or replenishing damage. As always my friends, everything you can find in this video, models, scripts, sound effects, it will be all linked on a Google Drive for a free download, and if you find this tutorial helpful, remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, and click that notification bell. And without further ado, let's hop into the tutorial. So here we are in our Unity test scene that we have been slowly developing and we're going to be paying attention to the bottom right of the screen, that long green bar. That is what I'm using as my health right now. And when I take damage, it should go down. Uh, last tutorial, we went over how to actually take damage from this player enemy thing right here. So if you haven't already seen the tutorial, I highly suggest you go watch that first because we are reusing scripts from there and it's calling back the scripts. It's all this confusing stuff that's going on. Just go watch that tutorial first, trust me. So here we go, we're gonna walk into the enemy and you'll notice that our health goes down depending on whatever number we have it set to from the scripts. And if it actually goes all the way down to zero, we have the death screen pop up, which we went over in the previous tutorial. This is super easy to accomplish, so I'm actually just gonna hide my current health bar so I can do this with you guys. What we're going to do is inside the FPS controller, inside of our HUD, inside of UI, I'm going to right click, go UI, and I'm going to do an image, not a raw image, but an image. And that's going to be put in the middle of our screen. I'm just going to fly in the sky, go to orthographic view, and we're going to start scaling it to where we want it. So we're going to make it long and skinny, something like this. Doesn't have to look perfect. We just need to get it looking something like a health bar and I'm going to place it right about there. We need to add a sprite to it which you can find in the description down below. I have a download to this health bar which is what I'm using. And because we're using a sprite when we put a texture in there it's going to ask the image type. We're going to want to change that to filled. We're going to do fill method to horizontal. And fill origin, I'm going to go to the right because it's on the right side of my screen. And now fill amount, you could change this number around so you can get it going the way you want it to. So this is what it's going to look like on my screen. If you have it on the other side, if you have your health bar over here, you might want it to be uh, left. So that way it goes right to left like that. But for me, I'm going to keep it at right. Next, what we need to do is go over this quick little health bar script here. This is what's going to be put on the health bar and it's very simple. It's a very short script but it gets everything done that we need. So we have a private image health bar. Uh, pretty much it's going to find its own component that it's attached to, which is going to be image, which is how it goes up and down. We have a public float for current health and our current health is going to be player.health. That's why we need to watch the other tutorial before this one, because it calls back to the player health script, which is right here that we went over previously. So back to the health bar script, we have a private float, max health is 100F because that's what my health is, that's usually what you want the you know, starting health to be, 100. And then player health, which is the script, it calls back to the player. So in our start function, the image of health bar is just going to grab the component of image. The player is just going to be the find object of type player health. Because the player is the only one that gets player health, the editor will automatically know that it's our character that we're using the walk around with that will have this script attached. Now the update says current health equals player health, which is say it's 50% in this, which is the actual health script. If it's 50% in here, the health bar is going to know, hey, we're at 50% health. And then it's going to change accordingly the fill amount. Very simple script, all you gotta do is click and drag that health bar onto the health bar that we just created, and that's all you need to do. <laughs> it's that easy, you guys. So let's play the game, make sure it's working, and as you can see, it is going down. Perfect. And you guys, that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, it was very, very quick because we just simply went over a little script. We set up a health bar. This just shows how easy it really is to get this little script going. In the comments section, if you guys are still here, please let me know what you think about this idea. I'm going to still be doing tutorials on YouTube, but what if two, maybe three days a week, I go live on Twitch and I just do some gameplays of some video games 
Whatever it might be, could be a horror game, could be a first-person shooter, I don't know. Would you guys want to see that? Leave it in the comment section down below. And with all that being said, guys, remember everything you can find in today's tutorial is linked in the description for a free download. If you found it helpful, remember to drop me a like and subscribe. And as well, in the description down below, you'll find a Discord link where we are slowly growing that and we have plenty of people in there that can give you guys tips. And they're just really cool to say hi to. And with everything being said, you guys, this is User1 Productions signing off for now. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.